don't, you're going to be locked up. You're going to be hurt your whole life. And you'll be miserable. So let me tell you how this really works if you don't do it right. Walk out there, Zoe, slowly though. Yeah, my mama left me, but I think I'm good. I know I'm good, but here comes the doubt. She gone. And he swallowed her up. I can't do this no more. So I think I ought to just quit. No, you got to keep going. You can't take one. You got a little resistance. No. You got to fight against your resistance, but you got to keep moving because I'm cut the devil coming for us, and he don't want us to. He don't want us to survive. And see, sometimes, sometimes it feels like he winning, but I promise you, he not. But see, when you ain't it in God, see, I'm God now. When you ain't it in Him. You can get able to go into your own life, and I'm with you. And then you can keep on moving. And the more you move, you don't even have to worry about nothing. And sometimes, you know, when we hit a corner, we get a little snag, but we might bounce back. But as we bounce it back, we keep on moving. And if we keep on moving, we can't worry about how daddy left. We can't worry about how mama mistreated us. We can't worry about how I'm out here alone all by myself in this painful world. And people still looking at me and they telling me for who I was and not who I am. But I'm okay. You got to keep the resistance. That's how your muscles grow. When you're in the gym and you stay contracted, your muscles are getting more blood. Sometimes it's rough, sometimes it's tough. If it was the easy walk like this, everybody could do it. That's why you can't make it because you're scared of what can happen. You're scared of who there. You're scared of what can come against me. But when you go ahead and you just say, I'm done with all this, I'm going to just let God do this and take over. Yeah. You just got to sit there. And see, so you got to come close to him, though. And you got to get your mind together. And see, remember, his hands are blood. He is covered by the blood. And see, when you feel like you hurt, and you feel like you keep relapsing, and see, I know it's, it's still early and not your relapse. And see, I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to you. And see, when you relapse backwards, your roots are still digging in between these seats. And then you want to go over here for Johnny. But you set your heart up for John. And see, when you set your heart up for John, you're just going to get in and everything that he got. And so when you get what he got, he coming with you with lustful problems, pedophile problems back here that he don't even really know about because he can't control because you hurt. See, that's why you got to stay strong. But so when you're close, you got to still try to keep going because he can hear you. He, 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 he got you. He got you on the road. He ain't going to let you go too far because it's the kind of God we serve. Yeah. And see, sometimes it just seems like it's too tough. And it's just, it's easier to quit and you just stay. You just give up. But when you let go, and you say, God, whatever you want to do, he trusts you. And then you can walk on your own. Yeah. And see, the roots, they still there, but they grounded, right? Yeah. And see, he ain't got to go behind you no more because he you knows he can trust you. And then when the devil come out against you, and he got to go ask God first once again, have you considered my servant Zoe? See, I know my servant Zoe can handle everything that comes out against me. I know my servant. Drizzy can handle everything that comes out against him, even if I flip him over in a car. I know I'm a keeper, but is he going to trust me when he comes over in the car and starts flipping? See, that's what happens. See, the car starts flipping for a lot of y'all, but you're not in the car for real. But you quit getting in the car, like Selby said, because you're fearful. You say you're fine, but you're not. And see, once you really step aside of what you feel and what it looks like, see, that's what God can come in and touch something. And see, See, now, that inner hurt, he trusts you with it. He knows you're not going to keep stumble blocking you. Stumble blocking yourself. Wow. And see, the stumble block, they come for us. And it's like Miss Missy, I'm using you, not joking. See, her walk got a little pimp to it, right? Now. Just a little pimp, but after a while, that little pimp goes up. Yeah. It'll pimp up. And then after a while, she'll get out. You can go to walk and see if y'all all out here by herself. And she don't need the assistance of the crutch no more. Because the crutch is gone. And once the crutch is gone, that means God. That's another miracle. And see, so you got to do this with the miracle. So you got to realize, everybody don't need to hear your miracle all the time. And God not telling you to say it. Not picking, I'm just saying. Because sometimes if the person don't know no better, that's why you got to be the same. Yeah. You got to show them different. If they, all they know is me, 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 yeah. me, me, me. Yeah. They'll ignore you and they'll look right past your miracles. Yes. But once you, when you walk that miracle out, yes. 
When you walk that thing out of that blood, and you keep digging. You keep digging. I wish I had some dirt in a pile that I could show you. So you don't sweat. And I was supposed to bring a towel. You got to wipe in and you got to keep going. Okay, you can't stop till the, 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 the hole is dug. And see, when the hole is dug, you don't stop there. So we dug a hole for my grandmother's funeral. And we dug it and we left. But once we left, we had 24 hours to think about what was going in the hole. Stop thinking about what's going in there. What's going back in there. <coughs> what goes in the hole is what God puts in it. Not what we are purposely, what we plan to put in it for the next day. <coughs> See, because if you think about it, you're going to put the same hurt back in there. Yeah. And you're going to start mixing up with dirt. So then I guess y'all don't know that roots grow in dirt alone yeah. by themselves. And there's no trees involved. And then they'll find the tree and then you hooked again. Yeah. Now this right here came from research. Woo. This came from life. This came from watching my mom. This came from watching Shelly Gillespie come from who she was when she had those roots connected to who she is now with the nourishing water that's getting into them from God. You got to know that. You got to dig. That's the name of the, the whatever this is I'm doing. Dig. Somebody need to scream dig. I didn't say say it. I said somebody need to scream. Dig. Dig. Do you really want to dig? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who wants a new attitude? Yeah. Well, what you need to do? Yeah. Who wants a new mind frame? Yeah. Oh, y'all still ain't caught up. Who want to walk different? Yeah. Who wants to look different? Yeah. Who wants to see different? Yeah. Who wants to be able to deal with their parents different? Yeah. Who wants to love their brothers and sisters like they never loved them before? Because I'm going to have to be able to do that because sometimes it's going to take time to learn how to do it because I never knew. Now I'm talking to you and my brother. Y'all. God showed me why y'all felt how y'all felt. And he had to show me publicly to show y'all how. When I went back, I grew up with four cousins. And I thought y'all was supposed to be like them. Come on now. But y'all never, let me tell you the goodness about y'all, that I need to work on to cut those roots. Y'all remain unique in who y'all were. So I had to adapt to y'all. And this is only the beginning. I want y'all to know that everything is going to be okay. Yes. And now that my roots are done and they're digging in the right place, Malachi, I'll be able to be there for you forever. Yeah. I'll be able to be there for you spiritually. I'll be able to be there for you in anything that you need. And I'm not going to yes. do it for a show. Now, right. Because this is what you need. If I be just like what I saw, which was nothing, you will amount to nothing. But see, God had a plan. He knew you would be something right. for me. You even know. I know you don't understand now, but this for me, to be able to help you. Yes. So that means I got to dig. Now. Yes.